itself and it's not always dry so it might just be a little bit damp so we're going to give the beacon a few minutes to get fully alight we'll come back and check our flight progress soon but in the meantime let's find out a bit more about why scotland remains such a special place for her majesty the queen i have spoken before of my deep and abiding affection for this wonderful country. And of the many happy memories Prince Philip and I always held of our time here. I said to her, congratulations, Grant, your majesty. And she said, that's fine, I've got it. <laughs> oh, about you. <laughs> the Queen has made no secret of her love for Scotland. Over her 70-year reign, she has visited communities and met people all over the country. We're going to have our own countdown. We think it's time. It's lovely to see the bits of Scotland where my grandfather was born. That's great, but I think it's now time for us here at this wonderful occasion, this never to be repeated, I don't think, in anybody's lifetime, here at this wonderful Royal Orthopaedic Hospital, it's time to ask our Chief Executive to light the beacon. And I think we deserve a lovely countdown. Shall we go from 42? No, we'll go from 10. We'll go from 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. like a bit of Florence Nightingale going on there, isn't it? Please give a very, very warm welcome indeed to the Chief Executive of the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital, NHS Trust, Joe Williams! So good evening and thank you. And I want to begin by saying a lot of thank yous. Thank you to the team who have brought this event together. I'm privileged to work with some incredible people and they've got a lot of patients working with me, I have to say. So thank you to everybody who's made this event such a special night. And I'm so proud when I look around to see what you've achieved. Thank you to the charity who've helped fund this. And thank you all for coming and spending what is a very special evening with us. It's such an honour to light this incredible beacon and to be part of the ceremony that has gone across the world in every corner of the Commonwealth. Her Majesty the Queen will become the first British monarch to celebrate a Platinum Jubilee. And during her 70 year reign, our country and the way we live has changed immeasurably, but her leadership of Her Majesty, the Queen, has been constant. She has always been dutiful, always dignified, and always true to the values of this great nation. Her reign is something to celebrate, not only because it stretches through time, but because it reminds us of our own story and the values we share. And that is the story of the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital and the Royal Family in which we are interconnected. We received our Royal Charter in 1864 from Queen Victoria. And since then, we have celebrated this shared heritage and we take every opportunity to do so. It is an absolute privilege and I am honoured to lead this organisation and to continue the traditions today as we recognise the Platinum Jubilee and celebrate the reign of Her Majesty the Queen. So thank you for joining us this evening and yet again creating further memories which we will remember and share over the years to come. Thank you. Thank you. 